let's go, let's go. Hey, tonight is the night, boys. We're going to play our game of football right here. Fundamentals are going to lead us to the success that we want out front, boys. Hey, we got to take care of business, all sides of the ball. Relentless pursuit, boys. We're going to be victorious tonight. You got to believe it. Feel it in your heart, boys. We're going to win. You got dummy, boys? Yes, yes. Let's go, Bedford on three. One, two, three. Bedford. Wow, they are fired up in Bedford, and there are high expectations for head coach Derek Stank and his Bulldogs, the preseason number one, with a tough test tonight. Hi, my name is George Taro. I play middle linebacker and wide receiver for Conquer Crimson Tide. You're watching Friday Night Football on Channel 9. All right, thank you, George, and welcome to another season of Friday Night Football. I'm Jason King. Our 22nd season of FNF kicks off with a whopper of a game. Two teams that many picked to win it all in Division I this year meet on opening night, meaning right out of the gate, one of them will have a one in the loss column. It is Bedford at home taking on the Merrimack Tomahawks. Bedford in black, first quarter scoreless. Quarterback Connor Roberts scrambles for 14 yards. Good pickup for the Bulldogs and a first down. Then selfie time in the stands for the Indian and his friends. Then Robert looks left, finds Noah Chabarik for the gain of 19 yards and another first down. Bedford deep in Merrimack territory, but then Roberts pass picked off by Danny Vanasek, big interception for Merrimack. They're going the other way. The Tomahawks offense struggled, though. Justin Grassini sacked by Kyle Jalbert, the senior defensive end for Bedford. No scoring while our photographer was there, but a huge second half. Connor Robert threw for two touchdowns. Justin Grassini threw for three, but Bedford pulls it out 24 to 20. The Bulldogs win on opening night. All right, how about Timberlane at Memorial? Big game for the Owls running back Jacob Post. 215 rushing yards, four touchdowns. So Timberlane loses an All-State running back in Tyler Fury. And the next man up, Jacob Post, comes through with a big game. Central at home with Salem. Talk about big games. Josh Sabanda ran for three touchdowns. And Salem wins on the road 28-13. to We welcome you to historic Memorial Field. A great moment at Memorial Field tonight as Concord dedicated its press box in honor of former principal Gene Conley, who has been battling ALS. He was forced to retire last year because of the disease. The Tide hosting the Pinkerton Astros first half. Ty Hicks breaks free. He's only five foot five inches, but he's fast. 35 yards for the Pinkerton touchdown. The extra point was no good, made it six to nothing. The Tide trying to get something going. Kevin Suarez. Gets a big hole up the middle. Good hard run for the Conquerors first down. But in the end, it was the Astros holding on to win it 19 to 7. On the Seacoast, Exeter and Dover, Cam Flanagan had three first half touchdowns for Exeter, and the Blue Hawks win big 41 to 14. Portsmouth made the trip to Keene, and what a game out west. Cody Graham threw for 257 yards and three touchdowns, and the Clippers win a wild one 49 to 46. North at home with Alvern, Jeff Baldessari threw for two touchdowns, and R.J. Jenkins ran for two. Nashua North gets a win on opening night, 42-20 to 20 the final there. Bishop Girton at Winnicunit. The Cardinals scored with 11 seconds left to win it, 32-28. to 28. Sam Wright, 185 passing yards and 140 on the ground for the Cardinals. Hey, the Red Hawks of Hillsborough, Deering, Hopkinton made their varsity debut in Division II tonight, taking on the Blue Knights of Manchester West on the road. It was 21 to nothing, Red Hawks in the third quarter. And around the right side comes the Red Hawks. He uh, coughs up the football as he hits the ground. It's ruled a fumble, and Desmond St. Felix recovers for West. But the Blue Knights would give it right back. Mac Mayhew has his pass picked off by Reed Cohen. Nice play by the Red Hawks captain on the ensuing drive. It's a quick hitter up the middle for Sage Dubois. And that's a huge gain for Hillsboro. That would set up a Red Hawks touchdown, and they get their first varsity win tonight in a big way. 34 to nothing. Hillsboro Deering Hopkinton shuts them out. Also in the South Conference, the Milford Spartans at home with Conval. Milford led 27-2 at the half, but Conval came alive third quarter. 
Senior Graham Parker runs it in over the left tackle, 27 to 14. Spartans in the lead. Then in the fourth quarter, the Conval quarterback, Daniel Spesaferi, goes over the middle, hitting Isaac Bacon in stride for the touchdown, just like that. 27-21, Milford's lead cut to six, but there's no panic by Milford Keith, head coach Keith Jones dials this one up. Zach King with a short pass to Ryan Cameron, and he turns it into a long touchdown. Those two hooked up twice in the game for scores, and Milford outlasts the Cougars. Spartans win 41 to 35. Good matchup in the North Conference. Laconia and Hanover at Jim Fitzgerald Field. Second quarter, 13-6 Sachems. Hanover's quarterback, Connor Stafford, finds Sam Eyes for the 35-yard touchdown pass. All tied up at 13. Stafford completing four or five passes in the game. Laconia comes right back as Riley Roy hooks up with Carter Doherty makes the nice catch for the score. 20-yard touchdown pass made at 19-13. Fourth quarter, 27-19 Hanover, and they would add to their lead with this Reed Winter five-yard touchdown run. Three rushing touchdowns for him. Hanover dominated the second half. Big win for the Marauders, 34-19. Their first win over Laconia in 10 years. Reed Winter. And Lebanon traveled to Merrimack Valley for a date with the Pride. First quarter, Ryan Milliken with a 39-yard run. And he'd be out at the one-yard line. But two plays later, he would score, made it 6-0 Lebanon. The Pride would answer. Evan Martin finds Ryan Nylon for a 22-yard touchdown pass. 8-6 Merrimack Valley. How about that football name? Ryan Nylon. Ryan Milliken would get his second score of the day, this time from four yards out to make it 14 to eight Raiders in Lebanon. They win on the road 34 to 20. Plymouth at Kingswood, Garrett Maycomer ran for two touchdowns. Plymouth starts the year with a win 43 to six. Guilford Belmont made their division two debut at Kennett. Tough test against the very good Eagles team. Brett Miller threw for three touchdowns and ran for another while Tanner Brown ran for about 150 in a score. Kennett wins at home 43 to 22. And now to Division Three, Raymond hosting Campbell. Opening kickoff, it's Ray Clark who fields it for the Rams. And a good return right at us on the near sideline. Uh, the Raymond drive, though, would stall. Campbell, they jump out to a quick lead. Adam Breton is going to roll to his right and hit Spencer Stanium for the short touchdown. Made it 7 to nothing. Cougars, second quarter now. Looks like the same play. Breton to Stanium again. This time he shakes a couple of tacklers on the sideline, and this goes for serious yardage. Stanium rumbles about 60 yards for the score. Campbell, the Cougars win it 39 to 6 on the road. Monadnock at home with Newfound. Monadnock wins 49 zip. They should be very strong in D3 this year. They move down from D2. Levi Basing White, two of the five rushing touchdowns by the Huskies. Summersworth hosted Winnesquam. Brendan Vaughn had eight catches for 237 yards and two touchdowns. And the Bears earn a big road win, Winnesquam 34 to 19. Stevens at home with Mascoma Valley. Richard Bell ran for 100 yards and four touchdowns, while Parker Smith had 100 yards receiving and two scores. And the Cardinals roll at home 43 to six. Hey, a reminder, you can watch all of our Friday night football shows on our website, wmur.com slash FNF. You can also follow us on Twitter. Use the hashtag FNFWMUR. All right, there we go. The 2016 season is off and running. We'll see you again next Friday night. Good luck to the 22 teams in action tomorrow. Still to come tonight, Jamie Staten is in with big news from the Patriots as they lose another key member of the team to suspension.